What's up guys? Chicks here from Chicks Tech Reviews. Today I've got my hands on the brand new Google Stadia Founders Edition. So it's finally arrived and this is supposed to be the future of game streaming. And I do look forward to testing this out for myself. So first of all, let's get this unboxed. So this is the Founders Edition and it does say that on the side. Here we go. So this is everything you get in the Stadia's Founders Edition. So first of all, we've got this envelope, which contains your paperwork. The promise of creating one place for all the ways we play is long held dream. Today we are proud to see that dream start to become a reality. A community of players is the core of Stadia. Thank you for being the first to gather around. I'm actually quite excited about Stadia. So what they said there is absolutely right and I can't wait to see how it's all going to work. And you also get a quick start guide and some Stadia stickers. You're also getting a USB-C to USB-A cable, a USB power brick to go with that, and the voltage is 5 volt 1.5A. So you are going to use this charger cable and this power brick to actually charge the game controller. Now you're also getting a Chromecast Ultra. So this is the 4K version of the Chromecast. It has a single HDMI cable which is magnetic, so it clips onto the back when not in use. You've also got a micro USB port at the bottom for power. And here you have a power adapter, micro USB, that's especially for the Chromecast. But you'll notice on the side there is actually an Ethernet port. So you can have this on a wired network, giving you your maximum internet speed and also more stability. Last but certainly not least is the game controller itself. So here it is guys, in my hands. So you have dual joysticks, Stadia button in the middle, D-pad. You've got four buttons over here and I can't guess what they do. And if I do guess, I'm probably gonna guess incorrectly. So we'll find out what they do in a bit. You've got your usual A, B and X, Y buttons with your four triggers at the top, USB type C port for charging and a headphone jack at the bottom. It's important that the controller is comfortable and it does feel comfortable to me. Now the controller does have a familiar layout. It does feel very nice in the hands and time will tell how good it really is when we actually start playing. Now this is predominantly a game streaming service. You can currently buy the Stadia Premier Edition for 119 and you'll get exactly the same things you can see on the table, but the controller won't be this navy blue color. You will get a white controller. Now I did receive my access code as well by email. All I had to do is download the Stadia app, enter the code, and that gave me access to the Stadia game streaming service. And to get you started, you get two free games to enjoy, which are Destiny 2 The Collection and Samurai Showdown. You also get access to the Stadia store where you can download and purchase more games. So NBA 2K20 for 20 pounds, Mortal Kombat 11, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, 2750, that's tempting me, I might buy that. You got Metro, Final Fantasy, Tomb Raider is only eight pounds, and I've got that game on nearly all platforms, so I don't think I'll be buying that. You can also pick up Red Dead Redemption, full price, not on offer, and so on and so forth. At this stage, I'm not sure if we're gonna be getting games free of charge every month. I doubt they're gonna be able to do that, just like PlayStation Plus. If they do decide to give us free monthly games, and that will definitely make this package even more attractive. So right now I have three months of Stadia Pro included. Stadia Pro is a subscription service which will allow you to stream up to 4K HDR. I believe a free service is gonna be coming sometime next year, but at the moment it's $8.99 a month for the Pro service. And once three months are up, I have the option to continue. Now here is a bandwidth chart to show you what resolution you can expect based on your internet speed. I have 60 megabits per second broadband connection, so technically I should be getting 4K HDR at 60 frames per second. Now there are a few ways you can use this product. You can connect the Chromecast directly to any monitor or television, and then you can play your games using the game controller. Another way to play is directly on your laptop or PC. Now the advantage of playing on your PC or laptop is that you can use other game controllers, such as Xbox, PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, or even a keyboard and mouse. Finally, if you have a Google Pixel phone, you can connect the Stadia controller directly to the Pixel phone and play games directly on your phone. So Stadia does appear to be quite a versatile system, giving you many options to play. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into some gameplay action. 
I'm going to hook all of this up to my 4K TV in the living room and we are going to find out exactly what Stadia is all about. I'll be right back. So the game controller is actually connecting to your Wi-Fi network, which means the game controller is connected to the cloud. So that's quite interesting. Wow. Here is what Stadia looks like on the main screen. And one thing I want to confirm is you do not need the Stadia app open on your phone at all. So I've actually closed the Stadia app on my phone. Everything is working directly on the Chromecast. So I've got two games I can play right now, Samurai Showdown or Destiny 2. Now that was actually quite impressive. It was smooth gameplay, audio sounded great. I quickly want to show you what these buttons do. So the dot 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 button, when you press it, nothing happens. You keep it pressed, nothing happens. The button over here, if you press that one, again, nothing happens. If you click on this button, which looks like the Google Voice button, it says Google Assistant is coming soon on Stadia. So that is a Google Voice button. And over here, you've got a screenshot button. So when you press that, it will capture a screenshot. Okay, if you click on the Stadia button, it will actually show you your profile. If you keep the Stadia button pressed for about two seconds, you will get an option to resume, exit or shut down Stadia. So let's go ahead and play some Destiny 2. So now I'm going to play the Stadia on my MacBook Pro. Now what we do is open up the Chrome browser and go to stadia.com. So you actually have to link the controller up via USB in order to play. So we're going to continue playing Destiny 2. Google Pixel lying around, you can also play directly on the smartphone, but you do have to connect the controller up with the USB cable. Now there might be a way to play wirelessly, and if I do figure that out, I will let you guys know.
So there you have it guys, that was my first look overview of the Google Stadia. My initial opinion of this product is actually very good. I was able to play Destiny 2 on the Chromecast Ultra for many hours and I noticed hardly any latency. It was super smooth, 4K HDR at 60fps. Even my TV detected the 4K HDR. The game looked and played beautifully. Now the game controller was indeed very comfortable and enjoyable and even after a few hours of gaming I had no problems with my wrist, with my hands. It felt super smooth and super comfortable. I think it's a cross between a PlayStation and Xbox controller, but it has a similar layout to the PlayStation 4 controller. Now, I love the versatility of being able to play on any system from TV, monitor, Pixel smartphones, or even your laptop or PC. And I was, of course, using this on my MacBook Pro. Now, if we talk about performance, the best performance actually came from the Chromecast Ultra. There was literally no latency issues, no lag or stuttering of any kind. It felt like I was playing on a game console and not streaming. Stadia also plays very well on both laptop PCs and smartphones, although I did experience a one second stutter once or twice during gameplay, I still had no issues enjoying the game. Overall, even at this early stage, I think Stadia is an absolute winner. Now with that being said, I think the pricing needs to be rethought. You can buy the Founders Package or the current Premier Package for 119 and then you get 3 months Pro Membership. The Pro Membership will give you access to the 4K HDR gaming service and you are promised free games regularly, so they are not committing themselves by saying monthly, regularly could mean every few months. So I personally think that 12 months membership should have been provided as standard to the Founders and the Premier Packages to get more people interested and to provide a bit more value to the gamer. Apart from that, the actual product is incredible. Now I am a casual gamer, I play games a few times every week, but if I could I would play a lot more as I really do enjoy gaming. Now the Stadia is truly a breakthrough, I am already using PlayStation Now and Nvidia's GE Force on the Shield and I can tell you right now Stadia does a much better job of providing you with a stutter free game streaming experience. In fact, I'm going to say Stadia is the best game streaming service I have ever used so far. It means you don't have to use a super broadband connection, you can stream 4K HDR with only 35 megabits per second and 1080p gaming with only 20 megabits per second. Now those of you out there who do not have a fiber connection yet can still enjoy super smooth 720p gaming which requires only 10 megabits per second. Now I bought the Founders Package myself as soon as it was announced, so this is not a sponsored video, this is my honest opinion. I am a fan of gaming and I can tell you right now this is something special. I expect Stadia to get even better than it is right now with brand new features, more game availability and hopefully they also bring along some value to the table. And with that being said, I will leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you all have a brilliant day. I'll see you guys in the next one.